This is my 2022 SR5 Toyota Tacoma and a lot of people ask me what trim this truck is and that's because of all of the added mods that you can no longer even tell. But with those trials of adding the mods come some errors and these are the three mods that I would stay away from or at least do very good research on before buying them. The first one is going to be the bed cover. So right now I just bought a brand new one. This one I just installed a couple days ago actually. It's a soft top by Eridro. There's a whole bunch of different companies out there. The reason I would take extra caution is because before this I had a hard cover bed cover or sometimes they call it a tanu cover. But my, anyways it was a hard one. It was fairly expensive. They are not cheap and it broke on me only after a month or two. So that's something that's very unfortunate, especially if you were to spend a lot of money on that. I actually got that one sent to me, so luckily I didn't lose a lot of money, but they have it available on Amazon. It's a kind of expensive hardcover. So if you guys are gonna be buying something to protect your truck or any mod in general, I guess you can apply the same rule. When you get something cheap, especially if it's not that big of a difference in price, it's probably not gonna do you any good. So next one is going to be getting the right step. So if you guys are looking to get side steps for your Tacoma, maybe because you have shorter people who get in the truck, maybe you're a little shorter as well and you want that little height step to help you get in, you have a couple different options. Now something you should do before buying these is research the different types out there. There's a lot of different ones that I've actually installed on my channel. Some of them are thinner, they come out more. They are lower, they have an extra side step. I actually just made a video on my buddy's Tacoma. His comes out a little bit and he has a three inch lift. My truck, I installed these and these are kind of for looks. They're not really for capability because take a look from this angle right here. And I'm walking up into my truck. I mean, there's only a couple inches between this and this. So it's not very practical, especially for someone like me. I don't need this and I only installed this just for style and kind of protection. When somebody next to me opens their door, it'll probably cling this before it hits my actual car, which will help me out a little bit because I do have some door dings. Some people, I guess, just don't care. Anyways, that's something to watch out for because they can get really annoying really quickly. And although they do adjust a little bit, it's still kind of annoying if you get the wrong type of steps. So if you guys are getting it because you have a lift, maybe get some lower ones, that's gonna be an extra step to your truck. Or if you guys are getting some maybe rock sliders to help protect your vehicle, then maybe you should get some that hug the vehicle more so they're not in your way when entering and getting out of your Tacoma. So one of the last things that I would do a lot of research on before adding to your truck, especially because these are kind of expensive, is pedal enhancers. So what these do is you basically unplug where your gas pedal goes, plug in this little device which then connects back to your car, then you can actually mess with the sensitivity of your gas pedal. Now the reason why I actually took mine off, and you guys should do some extra research before doing this, I've heard of incidents where people are driving on the freeway, they press on the gas and there's no response from the vehicle. So in something like that, it's a pretty big situation. Obviously, it's not your brakes, it's your gas, but it can still be very dangerous. I mean, when you need to accelerate and go to the side, whatever it may be, but that's just something to watch out for because all they basically do, they don't help your horsepower. They don't do any performance you know, upgrades or anything like that. The only thing they do is increase and decrease the sensitivity on your gas pedal, which I guess if you're gonna be flooring it and it kicks in a lot sooner, it's gonna feel a lot faster, but it doesn't really do much. So I would do my research on those before buying them and adding them on your truck because they do get a little pricey as well. All right, you guys, well, those are three mods that I would watch out for and probably do a lot of research before adding them on my Tacoma. I've had all of these and I've actually had different versions of these as well. So make sure you guys do your research, not just on those, anything that affects your drivetrain, suspension, or any big major mods, do a lot of research before adding them on your truck. They can also affect your warranty. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next one.